What's up guys, it's Asan Hacked here and welcome to a tutorial video. I wasn't going to originally make this video, but you guys have asked for this video so, so much. It's been so requested that you guys want me to make this video. So here is my how to download Pixelmon and install it and get it running on your computer. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Alright, so there are many different versions of Pixelmon. I'm going to be focused on installing Pixelmon 4.2.7 for Forge 1.8.9. This will be the exact same process for any of the other Pixelmons, just you have to change the versions to the version you are trying to download for. So I'm going to be downloading Pixelmon 4.2.7 for Forge 1.8.9. So here we go, we are on the Minecraft Forge website and we go for Minecraft versions and we want 1.8.9. So I'm already on the uh, I'm already on the website for the downloads of Forge, Minecraft 1.8.9. I'm going to leave all the links I use in this tutorial down in the description below. So if any of you need the links, they'll all be down in the description. Make sure you go and check that. But here we go. We have uh, downloads for 1.8.9 Forge and I am going to to download the installer. Once you've done that, make sure you go to the Pixelmon website as well and you want to download whichever version of Pixelmon you are trying to install. So I use Pixelmon 4.2.7 at the moment. So here we go, 4.2.7 for 1.8.9. That's the one we want. Let's hit this little download button there and download Pixelmon 4.2.7 and hit that and it should download onto our computer. Alright, so for this to work as well, before we run any of the files we just downloaded, what you do need to do is launch your Minecraft in the version you are trying to run. So if you're downloading Forge for 1.8.9, you have to have run Minecraft in 1.8.9 before. So if you have not done that before, make sure you... Uh, change your profile. Here we go. If we hit edit profile, use version, make sure you change it to 1.8.9 if this is the one you're installing, and then hit play just to make sure your Minecraft already has the 1.8.9 files. Alright, but once you have launched it once, that is all you need. Now we have our two files we have downloaded, our Forge file here and our Pixelmon file. So what we're going to do is run our Forge file first. So running this, we have this little thing on the screen here. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see it and it is here to install Forge on our computer. I'm going to blur out here just because you guys don't need to see all of my actual computer uh, name and everything where it's going to install. But all you need to do is once this pops up, hit install client, hit OK and wait for it to install on your computer. And you should get this message, complete successfully installed client profile Forge for the version whatever you're doing into the launcher and just hit OK. Alright, so now we have successfully installed Forge, so what we need to do in our Minecraft launcher again, hit edit profile, and now under versions, if we scroll down, there should be a release, here we go, at the very bottom for me, release 1.8.9 Forge, so this is the version we want now, so hit save profile, and let's just launch Forge, so it can set itself up for the first time, and we can get into installing our mods. Alright, so once Minecraft has launched with Forge installed for the first time, it may take a little while make sure you launch it first there we go and then we can just close it back out of minecraft all right once we have closed minecraft again what we want to do if you're in windows 8 what you want to do is get onto your search bar here if you're on windows uh, 7 just click the windows button in the bottom left hand corner uh windows 10 i'm assuming you can just click the bottom in the left hand corner as well what you want to do in your search bar is type percent app data percent Alright, so once you have done that, it will bring up a whole bunch of files. One of your top ones should be a .minecraft folder. So once you are in your .minecraft folder, you should now have a mods folder in among all of your other folders. So open your mods folder, it should be empty at the moment. And then what you want to do is drag your Pixelmon file that we downloaded earlier into this folder. So now we have Pixelmon under your mods folder. Alright, so now we have Forge installed and Pixelmon installed. We are almost ready to play on some Pixelmon servers or play Pixelmon by yourself. So what we want to do now is go back into edit profile. This is a very important step. If you do not do this step, you will not be able to play Pixelmon. So we go back into edit profile here and under JVM arguments up the very bottom of your screen at the very bottom of the window here there should be a JVM arguments what you want to do is you want to tick this if it's unticked and grayed out you want to tick it and at the very start it should have a little uh, text that should say negative XMX 1G or it could be something else what you need to do right here is change that one to at least 
two or higher. Now, what this is doing to your Minecraft is allowing Minecraft to use more of your computer's RAM. So, because Pixelmon obviously uses a lot more power than normal Minecraft does, there's a lot more stuff in it, you have to dedicate a bit more RAM to your Minecraft for it to work. So, if you have uh, four gigabytes of RAM, which is quite small, if you have only four gigabytes of RAM, you can still dedicate two gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. So, you can change it to two, just make sure you change it above one or else Pixelmon will not work for you. I have a lot of RAM on my computer so I leave mine at four gigabytes of RAM. If you don't have too much RAM on your computer you can do it at two. Minecraft and Pixelmon will still work at two gigabytes. Just make sure you put it up from one or else it will not run. Once you have done that hit save profile, hit play and you should be ready to play Pixelmon. And now you should be able to launch Minecraft with Pixelmon in it. So I hope you guys did all enjoy this tutorial. This is like not a normal type of video I usually make. So I hope this actually did work out. And I hope this did help you guys launch Pixelmon if you did not have it already. If you guys did get confused at all during this tutorial, I will leave step-by-step -step instructions down in the description below of basically exactly what I have done. If you're more of a text person and would like to see it all written out, I'll leave it all down in the description if you would prefer it like that or you can always just go back and rewatch parts of the video if there's anything you missed but I hope you guys did all enjoy this tutorial video this isn't normally something I do I don't normally do tutorials at all so I hope this worked for you guys I hope you guys did enjoy this but I'm gonna leave this video off there so I hope you guys did all enjoy if you did don't forget to smash that like button leave me some feedback down in the comments below as well don't forget to share this video with your friends as well if you have enjoyed and Subscribe if you are new so you never miss another video. But then that is it from me for now. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.